I feeling nothing. I'm numb. I decided to finally get this off my chest, even though this happened fairly recently. I'm a stay-at-home mom, or at least I was. I had my first child with my partner, a beautiful baby boy back in May of this year. The new addition to our little family including his daughter from a previous relationship that I took care of as my own, and refers to me as mommy. I was so excited to have a family of my own. I've worked most of my life including my entire pregnancy, so being a stay-at-home mom was very new to me. In the beginning it was extremely challenging, but eventually I got the hang of it. My partner would handle majority of the bills and expenses while I'd take care of the kids, housework, dinner, and make his lunches for work. My partner worked overnight shifts, so on top of taking care of the children I was in charge of waking him up for work, which wasn't an easy task at all. Much like a child he'd throw fits and yell as I attempt and attempt to wake him alarm after alarm, all the while I cook dinner and get the kids ready for bed. Eventually he'd wake up but not late it'd be too late because then it'd be my fault. I will say my partner was mostly faithful with some slip-up where I'd catch texts of him flirting with co-workers or old flings and we had one big cheating incident a few weeks before I went into labour. Why I stayed, I don't know. Helplessness? Wanting a family of my own like I never had? I don't know. Maybe. After the birth of my son things seemed to be getting better. My partner worked hard and was promoted twice in less than a year bringing in more money to our household and boosting his ego. I continued to do my part cook, clean, make his lunch, and wake him for work. One night I'm doing my usual routine cooking, making his lunch, and then I wake him for work. But this time something felt off my intuition was telling me something. I tried to fight these thoughts but I just couldn't. That night after he left for work I went for my usual run after I put the kids to bed, having my sister look after them. I'd run through our apartment complex and to a trail not too far. Shockingly, while on my run, I saw my partner's car parked at different part of our complex and my heart sunk into my chest. Why was he here? He said he was going to work. I checked my phone and lo, and behold his location was turned off. Funny enough we only shared locations as his idea to prove his loyalty to me. He comes home earlier than usual the next day, I act clueless I don't know what to think. He comes in bearing gifts, but I could hardly make eye contact because my mind is racing with suspicion. As he showers like clockwork, I check his phone. To my surprise I see text messages between him and young lady who lives in the same apartment building as us. He's telling her how he's on his way to her to give her vitamin D. They just met the day before. My heart sinks. He had me wake him up, make him lunch, and looked me in my eyes and said he was leaving for work. This was the ultimate betrayal. How could he do this? I hear the water stop I quickly jump and put the phone back where I found it. This is where I go completely numb. He hops out the shower talking to me normally I act oblivious and ask him about work. He says it was any easy night. I bet it was. Another day passes, it's time for him to go to work again this time I check his phone before because I had that same feeling again, and like last time he was pretending again, so I played along. I made his lunch extra special this time, I seasoned every dish with as much Morton salt as I could. I filled his fancy flask with dishwater, I made his sandwiches that he loves so much with spit and old fish grease, I kissed him goodbye and told him I loved him with so much excitement. Later that night when I went on my run and saw his car parked once again in the same spot I lost it. I went upstairs to our apartment and grabbed every messy condiment I could find and I decorated his car. I filled it with the trash he'd been neglecting to take out. Dirty pampers, rotten tissue, waste, etc. I blacked out. I couldn't wait for him to see the mess I made. It could be worse. This is the beginning of when you break a person.